Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. In this uh, video, I will be showing you how we can make this uh, tennis ball uh, using uh, any graphics surface modeling. So, let us go to new file and uh, start it. So, I'll go to file, new file, and I'll click OK. And as you can see here, this is our uh, 3D workbench. So, I'll go to sketcher environment and I'll select one of the plane and uh, I'll just create an arc with a 35 mm radius let us constrain it point on a curve this point should be on this line and this point should be on this line so now the curve is constrained let us finish this now what I will do is I will just revolve this let us revolve it as a sheet and uh, I'm just selecting this curve my vector will be along this direction and the point should be on this so as you can see here I have just uh, revolved it only for about 180 degrees so let's click OK now what I will do is I will just again go to sketcher environment and I will uh, go to this plane and let's click OK now what I will do is I will just uh, draw one circle with the diameter of uh, the radius of 24 so the diameter should be multiplied by 2 and now what I will do is I will just take the line command let us make a draw two lines which are uh, which are tangent to this line now as you can see here there is a point of intersection between uh, this point and as well as this uh, curve let us uh, get that point so I'll just uh, project this curve on this plane and I'll trim this now we got this point so I'll just draw one uh, construction line which is uh, passing through the point so let us constrain it point on a curve so this point should be on this curve so let us make this as a construction line so now what I will do is I will just uh, draw a circle in order to cut the tennis ball so we'll make a circle on this point on this curve mm diameter and i'll just give the dimension for this the dimension from uh, this point to this point it is 40 mm so let us make it as 40 mm okay now I'll just trim this and what is this direction okay let us give this as a 50 this as well as 50 in order to constrain it I've just given these two as 50 50 if you want you can leave it as it is so as you can see here now the stitch is fully constrained and I just wanted to mirror this uh, circle so let us go to mirror curve and select this curve and my center line will be this so let's click OK now I will just uh, finish my sketch as you can see here uh, this is what we have what I have to do is I have to uh, project this curve on this surface so let us go to curve and project curve so now I will select the curve make sure that single curve is selected and select these curve so before selecting that stop at intersection and uh, let us select this curve now what I want to do is I have to project this on this plane this uh, surface so let us give a vector as this and reverse the vector reverse it as you can see here the projected curve is generated so let's click apply so now what we have to do is we have to uh, sweep these two curves along the projected curve so let us go to surface command and uh, swept so I'm just going to select this curve as well as this curve for my section curve and guide curve should be this as you can see here uh, it is swept so let us go to body type and change it to sheet click ok 
now as you can see here uh, this is generated we need to now what i will do is i will just uh, feature just go to menu and uh, also to copy here is the mirror feature just mirror this along this plane and click apply and also i just wanted to mirror the above portion i'm just mirroring this and i'm just going to click ok now as you can see here these two are sheets and as well as these two are sheets so i'll just see them go to see command and select these two and check whether uh, it can be solid or not just go to preview and you can see here solid body is created so let's click ok now again i'm going to see and now this time i'm going to see these two and click ok as you can see here solid body is created click ok now what i have to do is these two are a solid bodies so i'll just go to subtract so i'm just going to subtract this from this and click ok now hit ctrl to blue hide everything and show the solids now as you can see here our uh, tennis ball is ready please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button Thank you.